adding and subtracting degrees, minutes, and seconds. Just as we can add and subtract regular numbers, we can add and subtract degrees, minutes, and seconds also. But we have to make sure our columns are always lined up. For example, if we needed to subtract 12 degrees, 36 minutes, 18 seconds from 40 degrees, we have to make sure that the degrees are above the degrees. Minutes would be above minutes, seconds would be above seconds. And then I need to subtract each column. And as you can see, there's nothing here to subtract from. So it's time to borrow, just like you do in regular subtraction. Except now you need to remember something very important. There are 60 minutes in a degree. So when I borrow one from the 40 and make it a 39, 60 minutes come over here. So you have to remember you're bringing 60 over. And those are minutes. But I still can't begin to subtract. I need to borrow again. And you have to remember that there are 60 seconds in a minute. So when I borrow from my minute, I have to bring 60 seconds over here. Now I can subtract because I have 60 minus 18, seconds minus seconds. I'm going to subtract those and get 42 seconds. Minutes minus minutes. I'm going to subtract those and get 23 minutes. And then degrees minus degrees, I'm going to subtract those and get 27 degrees. So I have 27 degrees, 23 minutes, 42 seconds. Remember that you must line up the columns and do them separately. And if you need to borrow, you're borrowing 60. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in a degree. Let's see what happens when we add. We start out here, we want to add 55 degrees, 40 minutes, 35 seconds, to 18 degrees, 45 minutes, 42 seconds. We've lined up our columns, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Let's start with seconds. I add my seconds, I get 77 seconds. I add my minutes, I have 85 minutes, and I add my degrees, and I get 73 degrees. You might think we're done, but there's a problem here. There are 60 seconds in a minute. We have over a minute. So if I take away that one minute, I'm left with 17 seconds, but I'm going to add that one minute on here. I'm going to bring it back. That gives me 86 minutes. But that's more than a degree. I'm going to circle this number so I remember it's part of my answer. 86 minutes being more than a degree, there are 60 minutes in a degree. That leaves me with 26 minutes. That's going to be part of my answer. But that 60 minutes comes over here as a degree. That gives me 74 degrees. So my final answer when I add these is 74 degrees, 26 minutes, 17 seconds. So when you add, you're also going to line up your columns. But if any of your columns come out to be over 60 in the seconds or minutes, you have to simplify your answer until you get what we have here. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.